Hi friends, this is Mona, welcome to Miracle Creatures channel. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel, like, comment and click the bell icon to get the latest videos. The ability to fly has permitted an almost unlimited diversification of birds, so that they are now found virtually everywhere on earth, from occasional strugglers over the polar ice caps to complex communities in tropical forests. In general the number of species found breeding in a given area is directly proportional to the size of the area and the diversity of habitats available. The total number of species is also related to such factors as the position of the area with respect to migration routes and to wintering grounds of species that nest outside the area. In the United States, Texas and California have the most, approximately 620 per each. The figure varies based on criteria used for inclusion on state lists, such as unconfirmed, accidental, hypothetical, extirpated, and extinct species. More than 920 species have been recorded from North America north of Mexico. The figure for Europe west of the Ural Mountains and including most of Turkey is 514. More than 700 species live in Russia. At least 4,400 species live in North and South America. Although several South American countries boast well over 1,000 species, Costa Rica, with an area of only about 51,000 square km, about 20,000 square miles, and a known avifauna of more than 800 species, probably has the most diversity for its size. Asia accounts for more than 25% of the world's species, with 2,700 species, and Africa slightly less, with about 2,300. Importance to man. In addition to their importance in literature and legend, birds have been significant to human society in myriad ways. Birds and their eggs have been at least incidental sources of food for humans since their origin and still are in most societies. The eggs of some colonial seabirds, such as gulls, terns, and murrays, or guillemots, and the young of some mutton birds are even now harvested in large quantities. With the development of agrarian human cultures, several species of chickens, ducks, geese, and pigeons were taken in early and have been selectively bred into many varieties. These domestic birds are descended, respectively, from the red jungle fowl, Gallus gallus, mallard duck, Anus flatterincos, greylag goose, Ansa ansa, and rock dove, Columba livia. After the discovery of the New World, the turkey, Meligris gallopavo, which had already been domesticated by the Indians, and the Muscovy duck, Kerina moshta, were brought to Europe and produced several varieties. Guinea fowl, Numida meligris, from Africa were also widely exported and kept not only for food but also because they are noisy when alarmed, thus warning of the approach of intruders. Besides being a food source, pigeons have long been bred and trained for carrying messages, their wartime use dating to the Roman era, according to Pliny the Elder. Messenger pigeons were widely used by German, British, and American forces in World Wars I and II and by the United States in the Korean War. In the South Seas, the ability of frigate birds to home to their nesting colonies enabled island inhabitants to send messages by these birds.
With the development of modern culture, hunting evolved from a foraging activity to a sport, in which the food value of the game became secondary. Large sums are now spent annually on hunting waterfowl, quail, grouse, pheasants, doves, and other game birds. Sets of rules and conventions have been set up for hunting, and in one elaborate form of hunting, falconry, there is not only a large body of specialized information on keeping and training falcons but also a complex terminology, much of it centuries old. Feathers have been used for decoration for many thousands of years. Their use in the headpieces of indigenous peoples throughout the world is well known. Feather robes were made by Polynesians and Eskimos, and down quilts, mattresses, and pillows are part of traditional European folk culture. Large feathers have often been used in fans, thereby providing an example of an object put to opposite uses, for cooling as well as for conserving heat. Whereas most feathers used in decorating are now saved as by-products of poultry raising or hunting, until early in the 20th century, egrets, reeds, and other birds were widely shot for their plumes alone. Ostrich farms have been established to produce plumes as well as meat, and some ostriches have been raised specifically for racing. Large quills were once widely used for writing, and feathers have long been used on arrows and fishing lures. Many birds are kept as pets. Small finches and parrots are especially popular and easy to keep. Of these, the canary, Serenus canaria, and the budgeriga of Australia, Melocyticus angulatus, often called a parakeet, are widely kept and have been bred for a variety of color types. On large parks and estates, ornamental species such as peacocks, pavo cristatus, swans, and various exotic waterfowl and pheasants are often kept. Zoological parks in many cities import birds from many lands and are a source of recreation and enjoyment for millions of people each year. The study of birds has contributed much to both the theoretical and practical aspects of biology. Charles Darwin's studies of the Galapagos finches and other birds during the voyage of HMS Beagle were important in his formulation of the idea of the origin of species through natural selection. Collections of birds in research museums still provide the basis for important studies of geographic variation, speciation, and zoogeography, because birds are one of the best known of animal groups. Early work on the domestic fowl added to the development of both genetics and embryology. The study of animal behavior ethology, has been based to a large extent on studies of birds by Conrad Lorenz, Nicola Tinbergen, and their successors. Birds also have been the primary group in the study of migration and orientation and the effect of hormones on behavior and physiology. Man's impact on bird populations is very strong. Since 1680 approximately 80 species of birds have become extinct, and a larger number are seriously endangered. While pollution and pesticide are important factors in the decline of certain large species, such as the peregrine falcon, osprey, and California condor, the destruction of natural areas and introduction of exotic animals and diseases have probably been the most devastating. Concerted efforts of research and conservation are required to ensure the survival of rare species. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel, like, comment and click the bell icon to get the latest videos.
Bye, friends.